and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this, the 36th episode, I believe, of Thinking Outside the Pod. I'm your host this week. My name is Patrick, and I'm joined by my comrade in arms. Jimmy, how y'all doing, everybody? Now you're doing it. You see how you, you see what happens? It's just after you say hi like that, you have to... I did it as a joke. Ask, shut up. You did it on purpose. <laughs> yep. you got to ask everybody how they're doing. Come on. <laughs> how, so how is everyone doing? Crickets. Wow. Really? <laughs> that, that sucks for that guy. Yeah. We can hear y'all. If you, if you yell into your speakers... Just yell as loud as you can at, you, just at, your, uh, at your monitor and we can, we can sense it. Yeah. So, sorry about that guy. That's yeah. pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, keep doing that. Whoa, what are y'all doing? Well, that, that's illegal. Yep, some countries. <laughs> probably banned in a few states as well. <laughs> well, I want to start off this um, this episode by talking a little bit about our fantasy football league. Um, I figured every now and then maybe we can talk a little bit about it. Um, Jimmy, how's your team? How did your team do last week? Let's talk with that. Last week, uh, if, if y'all listened to last week's episode and we were watching... Uh, yes, the Denver the game Denver for for last week and my uh, team lost against uh, who was it against somebody somebody Joe Joe Anthony a guy uh, a friend a friend of a friend a friend of a friend yeah so uh, I lost against him he was like placed like sixth fifth or sixth in the league I was I was number one it was my first loss of the of the season last week Man. I was undefeated it was six and zero oh, now I'm six and one I'm uh, what am I. Three and four, yeah. So I'm fixing on going four and four this week. I hope. Uh, last week uh, I had the unfortunate circumstance of being behind my in my game four points um, going into the fourth quarter of that game, mm-hmm. and the uh, Denver was up so much they took Peyton Manning out in the fourth quarter. So I lost by four points. Oh. If he would have just thrown like anything, you know, uh, I would have I would have won. I would have won, but no. Oh, no. They had to take him out. Uh, how were you doing? Um, who was the best player you had last week in, 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 off your team? Oh, I don't remember. I can look real quick, I guess. Week seven, uh, probably Arian Foster. He's usually like one of my better players. I lost by two points. I'm sorry. Um, After Peyton Manning got me like 53 points, which is unheard of. Well, it's not unheard of. It was just really good. Uh, Le'Veon Bell he got me uh, 30, 30 some points last week. Who was running, running back for, uh, for Steelers. Pittsburgh. Who was your worst uh, performer? Uh, it would have to be Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Last Graham. week he got injured the week before, but they said he'd play in like red zone times. And how, and, many, like, how many times were they in the red zone? Uh, well, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't watch the game, but not, not uh, according to the <laughs> notes, according to the notes, they, he only got thrown like two t- thrown at two times. He was only the target twice. Neither, neither of those he caught any, so I got zero points from him. Boo, I, yeah. I benched him for a 25-point person. So. This week? Well, last week, I took out one of my running backs. Oh, threw him in put there. him in for him. Yeah, so that was a, that was a bad decision. And the Russell Wilson got me 66 points, but on my bench. So it was just not, not a good week for me. Bad decisions. And uh, what about you last week? Last week, Peyton Manning got me the most with 53. He was projected 48, which was cool. If he would have played the whole extra quarter, he probably could have got like 70 points for me. I just like knocked his ass out of the water. He was talking so much trash last week. I'm so upset I lost by two points to him. And, but he won, so. Yeah, and then uh, Zach Stacy, the running back from the Rams, totally disappeared against Seattle. They gave him one carry for no yards. So he got me a big zero. Or he was in for one, one play, but didn't get the ball. So he got me zero points. So uh, this week we created a trade. I traded you Cooks, Brandon Cooks from the receiver from the Saints yeah, for, for um, um, Trey, Mason. Mason. Trey Mason. And as soon as I got Trey Mason, I go on to the, you know, the news, the fantasy football news, and they say they're going full-blown committee. You know? And then this t- today when they played, they gave like, each of them the ball a certain amount of time. So it's like it's a really fucked up situation now. The thing is, Trey, Trey Mason's probably the best one they've got besides Zach Stacy. And Zach Stacy's not very fast, and so the guy's he's got some speed. Mm-hmm. So I feel good about that in the future. Uh, San Francisco got me to negative two because Denver threw all over him. Um, and then Old L. Beckham Jr., the receiver from the Giants, had like a couple scores, and he got 21 points. That wasn't bad. This week, how are you doing? Um, not good. Well, really good. I'm doing. My team's got got the uh, like one of the highest scores of the league. Or got of the second this, highest so of the far. week. Unfortunately, the uh, the person who has first, who has the biggest score, or the most points, is the person I'm playing against. What and were you saying earlier? Your superpower was <laughs> bringing out the best in my opponents. Because last week too, 
the number one person, number one point scorer in the league was my opponent as well. So that's not a good and, and I, I, I had the third. Player. I had the third amount of points. So I scored really good, but unfortunately my opponent scored better, and that looks like it's going to happen again. I have one more person playing, or my kicker, and one more person playing, but there's no way. So and, you got your kicker and Lacy and the, Eddie Lacy, yeah. Green so Bay? I mean, possibly, but it's already it's into the second, and he's only got like 15 points. You need about 50 points. Yeah, I need that, and I need his wide receiver Randall Cobb to not do anything, which you need him he's, already, he's, already, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's already yeah he's already doing 25 he, points. I saw like it was like three minutes into the first quarter, and that guy had already scored like 15 points. So I'm like, oh, it's over. But uh. I guess I could take solace in the fact that nobody would have beaten my opponents these last two weeks. Yeah, no. Uh, so the dude who beat you last week, Joe Anthony, he slowly put together a decent team. Man, uh, Izzy dropped Philip Rivers. He picked him up. He traded away Calvin Johnson for hurt Jamal Charles at the time, and now Calvin Johnson's hurt, not helping Juan out. So and yeah, we were saying that <laughs> that Juan was like completely like screwing with Joe Anthony with his trades. Yeah, that was a shitty trade at <laughs> first, but now, I mean, without Calvin Johnson playing, dude, it's, it, it's, it, it really worked out for Joe Anthony, dude, with, a, with that pickup of Philip Rivers, Jamal Charles, he's, like I said, he's slowly putting together a decent little squad there. Yeah, and yeah, Cody is killing me, like the best, best scoring I've seen in a while, like every one of his players are doing pretty well, or did pretty well, so, sucks for me. You this week? This week, um, I'm beating the San Antonio Dillos, which is our friend um, Danny at the news desk here. Um, I'm, a, I'm ahead, actually, 178 to 107, and he's got uh, Romo tomorrow, and he's got a couple players playing tonight, I believe. Mm -hmm. I can't. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's got, he's got, got Jordy Nelson and Marquez, Marquez Colston tonight. Um, Ahmad Bradshaw got him 24 points. Uh, Martellus Bennett got him 21. The kicker, his kicker got him 15, which is fucking crazy. Um, on my site, though, I had a little, I had made a little uh, adjustment like I was telling you earlier. I picked up Denard Robinson, which is a running back receiver in Yahoo Leagues. Mm -hmm. um, I put him, since he's a starting running back, in one of the receiver spot, spots since I was able to do that. He got me 26 points. Yeah, so with that's, over that's 100 a yards. pretty good uh, running back score, so, so a yeah. very good receiver score. So uh, yeah, you know what I mean. So, that, that was pretty good points on his end. Um, so if he would have gotten in the end zone, he would have been a lot. It would have been more. But uh, you see, Trey Mason got me seven. Bishop Sankey got me fourteen. On the bench, I had Niall Davis, which who knew? You know, since Jamal Jamal Charles was healthy, I should have probably played this guy because he got twenty four. He ran back a, a touchdown, a kickoff for a touchdown, and Alshon Jeffrey got sixteen points, which I thought was going to be a mess. Um, which one of your players you you? Think is gonna be doing like consistent. Which which one do you think will be the most consistent for next week? Um, I haven't looked at the matchups, but I mean, so far Arian Foster like every week is overperformed. Doing a good job. Um, and I've needed it like freaking every single time. Um, I don't know. I ho hopefully. So you think so Foster would be your your, your lock for next week? Probably. On depending roster. depending on the matchup, I haven't looked, but yeah, because no one else. He's been getting me cute quarterback numbers. Quarterback no quarterbacks usually get the most in these leagues. Yeah, yeah. Um, like 50 or 60 points, but so far, last two weeks, both my quarterbacks have gotten me like 25, like running back numbers. And Aaron yeah, Foster. Everybody on your roster, what do you think might be starting to get the groove? What do you think is coming up? Uh, I, I think pretty much all my players, other than maybe a couple, are all, all going down. Like, yeah? Yeah. I've, I started out really well, and I've, like, I've drifted off my... I've coasted on my draft. And now it's beginning to catch up. I've, well, you've it's got to be two players, weeks. Um, with that addition of Cooks, you've at least got a, a, another decent option at receiver. You still got Patterson. You've got Edelman. Edelman goes off every now and then, but I think he got like three points this yeah. week. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited about Denard Robinson, Shoelace Robinson. I think he's going to do pretty good. Jared McKinnon, Justin Forsett have been chugging along. I'm getting. Um, Rashad Jennings back soon, and if um, Beckham from the Giants keeps doing his thing, I should be in decent shape for a little playoff push after this week. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. But um, for my lock, I want to say Emmanuel Sanders, because that little man went crazy this last Thursday. Oh, yeah. What did he get? What he touched down. He got me 43 points out of a projected 14. Yeah. And uh, for my up-and-coming players, if you can pick up Denard Robinson, uh, Justin Forsett or Jarek McKinnon, I suggest you do it. Um, Trey Mason is probably going to start pay paying off as soon as they start giving him the rock more. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, that's that's my final fantasy minute or a few minutes for the day here. Yeah. 
Yeah, Speaking of happy. football, though, um, today Geno Smith from the Jets, and I, I almost feel bad about talking about this guy because our friend Jared Silverman is a diehard Jets fan. <laughs> Geno Smith comes out and throws three passes to start the game, and they're all to the Buffalo Bills defenders. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> three interceptions, like <coughs> his first three downs were all interceptions? Yeah, the first quarter he just came out and, like, oh. slaughtered himself That's and his like team. the worst ever. What did he end up getting, Geno? No, does anybody, does I anybody look, have him? Uh, no, nobody's got him. You gotta look him up into the. Uh, Let me see if I can do that real quick. Yeah, yeah. So, and like some things have been coming up on. Well, yeah, well, uh, we went on and looked uh, trending on Twitter, which was a little segment we're trying to every now and then throw in here. Trending on Twitter today was um, some Geno Smith fails. It said, I, "If you have an unhealthy love for Geno Smith, you're probably right." Let's see. Geno Smith has NFL talent. I have NFL talent. To tr if Geno Smith, that's what it says. If Geno Smith has NFL talent, I have NFL talent. Let's see. Um, Tom Brady threw five incompletions and five touchdowns. Geno Smith threw com two completions and three interceptions. Life as a Jets fan is awesome. Let's see what else we had here. Try to throw his jersey into the stands and got intercepted and returned for a touchdown. Geno Smith must be the Jets must bench Geno Smith for good. Negative four points. Negative four points. It is projected twenty four. Oh my God! That Versus is Buffalo, awful. is Buffalo good? They're decent. They're not. You know, they're not fantastic on defense, but they're not bad. Lost twenty three to forty three. I didn't know Geno Smith threw three interceptions in the first quarter. Geno Smith so garbage. Bye, Geno Smith. I believe in you. Your time is up, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That is negative four points is very fucking. That's, yeah, that's hard to do, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's terrible. Because I mean, especially in our league, whenever it's we, we're points per reception PPR leagues, scoring a PPR that points per reception. So he gets he gets points every time he like throws like lands <laughs> every lands, time lands he gets a throw. He gets yeah. he gets something. So negative four right. for a quarterback. I don't feel that bad. I guess that my they, quarterback they, got me twenty five. But so you, do you think they should have given him negative three because he only threw three picks? Uh, well, I guess he got sacked and lost yards or something. Maybe yeah, something I guess that's bad. the other part. They just took one for him being him. Uh, yeah, that's that's so terrible. My favorite well, one. How did he get twenty three? How did they get twenty three? Did he twenty three what? Because it was twenty three to forty three. Oh, uh, they put Michael Vick well, in after they, they, they took him out. Yeah, they took him right in. And I think uh, Michael Vick threw like two or three interceptions as well. As well but yeah. not, uh, but got some touchdowns. So that's, yeah. that's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jared, we're sorry, Jared. <laughs> yeah. but sorry, fans. Geno Smith has to go. If you're Jets fans, get, just burn your Geno Smith jerseys now. Yeah, that's, that's sad. I, I don't really have a team that I go for. I know you like Cowboys, right? You're yeah, Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, baby. I'm. I like Texas team, like all Texas teams, because it's good for the state that we're in. But as far as that, no, I, I never, never really followed anybody. I'm more, uh, nah, not even. What's, what's One of these guys, um, at Beard Man Pete says, I'm certain one of the cheerleaders is a better quarterback option than Geno <laughs> Smith. <laughs> That one is pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Saints might be struggling, but their Tebow outfits continue to rank among the elite's sluttiest. <laughs> there was another one that I liked here uh, uh, that I want to get off of here. Where was it? It's uh, here. It is by at Johnny Football, which is named not Johnny Manzo. It says the Jets going from Mark Sanchez to Geno Smith is like going from swine flu to Ebola. <laughs> I'm gonna favor that one right now. That was a good one. Yeah, that's that's that sucks for them. Yeah, I poor Jets, dude. <laughs> Of course, yes. I mean, uh, yeah. Jared. I hope is winning his fantasy football league this week. Cause I think it's. I think he is going. To, I think he is going to win. But, but yeah, that's 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 terrible when your team, like the team that you really care about, is just having <laughs> Not having a very bad luck. And I think I think what Jared was saying, he wants him to do is just the tank the rest of this and just. Well, you should just good, let Geno Smith keep playing. Then. Get a good. Well, yeah, <laughs> right? maybe that's maybe that's what they are <laughs> just doing. Just leave him in. Just, <laughs> Just, just tell him to do your best and then throw it to is. anybody but people on our team. <laughs> but uh, and then just get a good draft position next next draft, I guess, or whatever however it works. I don't know, but get a good quarterback. That uh, would probably be the best one to do. Uh, <laughs> that would probably be best. Just let him keep going, guys. So, He's ripping y'all apart. Or or just get better, at Geno Smith. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was our trending on Twitter, guys. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the Geno Smith stuff with you Jets fans. That we just. We had to going off our fantasy football. That was trending on Twitter. Big time. There's a bunch of people like saying all this stuff about him. 
Um, if you find any good pictures or sayings, tweet them to us. We'll talk about them next show, maybe. Maybe. All right, uh, Jimmy. Ask Reddit here. Um, one of the first things that came up was submitted eight hours ago. It says, "What are some things you should cheap out on?" Yeah, I would say I'm I'm pretty frugal. I don't like spending money. I mean, I do spend money on ridiculous stuff. Like but, drugs. Well, no. Like I bought a violin. Wait, and a recently? ukulele. Well, I bought a violin like probably a year ago, and Why? probably flipped, I don't know because I wanted a violin. Uh, while you were working here, while you knew all of us, uh, you bought a violin. No, I don't think I was working here, so it was more than a year ago. Okay. But uh, yeah, I just wanted a violin, and I played it probably once or twice. So what do you you just sit there now? Yeah, it's just on. Yeah, just sitting there. It came with a case. I bought it off of Amazon. Just just sitting there. And then, eBay, bro. Oh, maybe I'll play it one day. Shut up! You are never gonna play. <laughs> and then, uh, the and then I bought a ukulele. Oh my god! Because I wanted a ukulele. Musical instruments I buy and collect. I guess. I, mean, I guess. I, I guess it'd be music <laughs> instrument collector. Collector, I not not player. I can play them not well, but that, <laughs> I guess it'd be kind of cool to have them all like on my wall, like. Well, but, if, you, uh, if you're gonna do something like that, stick with a theme. You're all over the place because you have a guitar, right? The yeah. Electric guitar. I uh, yes, I have. I have two. Electric guitars. I have a violin, an acoustic guitar. So it's three guitars. Yeah, and then I have a ukulele. Ukulele, a, a violin. violin. I have a keyboard. Okay. Um, Maybe you should like pick a music genre and like collect out of there first. You know. That's that's all. You've got like symphonic music with the the thing. You've got like he's like industrial <laughs> electronic with the keyboard. Yeah. You've got a country the guitar country, and the acoustic, acoustic. And, like, two rock guitars. Yeah. So you're kind of all over the place. And there's still things in my Amazon, oh, <laughs> Amazon in cart. Carts that yeah. Like, well, like what, uh, what's another one? Uh, what's what's a French I, horn? I, I, no. <laughs> I at one point I did want some like a brass a, bra a brass instrument. I don't know, probably like a, a trumpet or something. Trumpets or a saxophone maybe. Have you played any of those before? No, I've never played. I've never played them. <laughs> I, I know I, the sax is weird because of the way you've got to hold your tongue when you play it. Yeah. Um, the trumpet's probably a little more easier, but the mouthpiece is kind of small, so it takes time to like practice get, with get the that. mouthpiece. Yeah, so at one point I wanted that, but that's not in my card. Um, what is the uh, melodica or something like that, where it's a, a keyboard that has like a mouthpiece? That you I have <laughs> never heard of that, Jimmy. <laughs> but a yeah, melodica. I think it's something like that, or, or pronounced. Keyboard. What do you do with the mouthpiece? You, you have to you have to blow into the mouthpiece to use the keyboard. To use it. like a to, like an accordion. But yeah, in your mouth. both mouth and accordions. I've all actually all so wanted like, to. It's but. like a mix between an accordion and a bagpipe. Kind of, yeah, because you have a mouthpiece. So you blow into it to play the and to play the notes. And I saw, I think. Please some, don't buy that. I, I am like that. one click away. I know from it's so that. close, but for why? Why? Because I want one. Because I, I saw a, a melodica. A, you even knew the name of that? I um, have no idea. Some video, and I saw that. I, that's like my weakness. Amazon just buying. There's a point when I really wanted a 3D printer. I don't know what I'd 3D print. Hey, you sell all the stuff you've collected so far and buy I, a 3D printer. But what would I use a 3D printer for? To so print up a guitar, a ukulele, yeah. all the other instruments you want. Like at least miniature versions and then you can make like a, I don't know, print up a dollhouse and put them all in there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, there was like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, say it. Say I, what were you going to say? Tell me. Well, no, I was going to say there, I don't know what I was going to say, but I, there was, was there, you Adam, wanted to buy something really no, bad, and then you stopped. Well, no, I mean, there's it. there's other weird things I want, like a theremin. If you ever, you, um, I, it? it's it's like an electronic a, electronic instrument. It's like a box, and it has like a wire sticking out in the loop, and then you like move your hands around it, and it makes like weird sci-fi sounds. Oh, uh, see one of those in yeah. some of these movies or something like that. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. yeah, so it it makes things like that. But those are expensive. But uh, at at a Every point, like I've wanted to learn that instrument, but it's just, just they're just in there now. Well, that'd probably be the easiest one to use besides the melodica. I don't know. I'm not. I I can play like simple stuff on Hot keyboards. Cross buns. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> uh, maybe. I usually just make up stuff on whatever I, I play. I never. I wish really I had some of the equipment. I, I wish I would have never sold my drum set. I'd still be banging away on that thing. I've wanted a drum set as well. Drum sets are the best. But uh, are the best. Yeah, so that stuff, but everything else, I I don't buy anything else. Like, all the stuff I've, like, clothes and shoes, there's just old stuff that I've always had, so I've never, never needed it, anything. I never want to spend money on that. I think that's a waste of money. There's a lot of stuff that I think is a waste of money. 
Well, I'm going to pick out a. I've got one, two, three, four, five things that I think yeah, that so are, are, are on this Reddit so list. On Reddit, we'll I'm going to call. I'm going to. I want you to call out three of them that you like, and we'll okay. go through and look up some of those. The first one is coffins. Okay. The second one is school supplies. Third one, bottled water. The fourth one is hookers, and the fifth one is drinking. Um. Well, which, which three of those is? Well, I know. You the most? Well, I know drinking. I, I don't do that. I you don't drink anything. I no. Not even water. Not water. Oh my juice, God. Kool Aid. I'm so really, you, I'm really you, thirsty. How, 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 how do you get your daily water? <laughs> oh my God, he's coughing dust, you guys. Because you can't see that unless you watch the video, but. But he's coughing dust, literally. Yeah, but uh, like drinking alcohol, I think that's it's just it's. I guess I just don't do that. I just don't. How, how, you know, what, what do you do to relax to let loose? Nothing. I sleep. Just sleep. Sleep. I podcast sometimes. How do you like get into sleep mode? I just watch Netflix. Oh well, according to you, don't sleep. That's why you're up late at night like crazy. Well, I know I, you send me those circles pics at like five a.m. sometimes. <laughs> Hey. But, uh, but like I watch everybody don't just, but I just watch that. Netflix and just browse the internet until I fall asleep. Wow. That's, that's what I do. And but I, but sometimes I can't fall asleep so I don't sleep. So but uh, yeah, is, I don't you've already went through like all of Netflix's catalog and everything. <laughs> I'm watching like terrible <laughs> Gilmore girls and <laughs> the terrible crap. Gilmore Gilmore yeah. girls. It's like a whole nother show. But uh but yeah, uh, but so drinking, I, I think that's a waste of money. I I, I mean, can attest to that. I've wasted lots of tons of money on drinking. Yeah, I I don't. I'm like, and plus, alcohol to me doesn't taste good. Like, well, it's not. I mean, uh, like, like I, whiskey and beer. I love just whiskey. I gross. Love beer. This is gross. I, I had I had a Jack and Coke. I mean, that's a normal drink that people drink. I'm like you, but you brew in Coke. No, you brew with, in the Jack with Coke. You don't put anything <laughs> sweet in whiskey. I don't know. You just drink it straight. Drink it straight. Maybe a little cold or no. maybe warm. It it tastes exactly like how I imagine rubbing alcohol tastes like. Really? Yeah. It so doesn't taste anything like rubbing alcohol. It tastes Believe exactly. Me, it tastes exactly like rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol will give you a worse headache than drinking beer will. And it doesn't get beer you drunk. Beer is gross as well. Beer it doesn't get you drunk at all. Uh, beer is dumb. Beer is a gross I mean, drink. I, I can. I'm not. You know. I'm not gonna say I go out and like drink on the regs every day. You know. Well, usually when I do, you know, I, I tend to overdo it sometimes. But, but I mean, I don't do it often, and that's probably another. You know, another. That's, that doesn't make it any better. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, you know, I'll, after a busy week, or like a rough, rough couple days, or a rough week, you know, after a rough month, you know, sometimes, yeah, I like to let loose a little bit, and you know. Yeah. You should get a hobby. You should buy a violin, man. I know. If you want, I think yeah. I have. I think I know of a I'm violin. Like, I might need to borrow one for somebody. <laughs> violin, I might I mean, ask we can somebody. do a violin ukulele band. <laughs> a but, violin uh, ukulele band. <laughs> instead of spending money on on gross drinks, wine. That's gross. Yeah. I don't, no. Well, I only drink wine if like we're out of every other alcohol. And wine's gross. Beer's gross. Whiskey. Beer is not gross. Dogs are not gross. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Drink. Uh, what else is there? Um, I, I I've heard some people like coffins. That's pretty. You can you can cheap out on a coffin because it doesn't matter because you're dead. Well, because the, the thing is, is you're not the one that's purchasing it unless you already planned it all out and haven't purchased. But, yeah. But that's up to like your relatives and stuff like that. But, to, to get but like, but well, I wouldn't want them to waste money either. That's that's my guess thing. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Like. Um, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. They were talking about Frank dying, and he's all. They're like, "Well, what what do you want to do when you're dead? Do you want us to uh, cream at you or buy a coffin?" And he's like, "No. What would I do that for? I'm dead. Just uh, when, I, when I die, just throw me in a dumpster." And that's pretty much yeah. It. <laughs> well, because Frank's just cool like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know what. So you pick one. Um, I. Well, I'll pick two. Let's see. Okay. The first one I'm going to talk about is bottled water. Okay. Why would anybody purchase bottled water? Uh, I've purchased it before in the past. Like, well, like, look, there's one thing. I went out of town recently, and when we were out of town, I didn't try. I tried not to drink any of the water there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I believe, like, growing up in a certain location, you're kind of used to the water you have here. So any time I go out of town, mm -hmm. I strictly drink bottled water. Okay. And that's the only time that I'll really, you know, commit to it. Yeah. Um, 
Now, every now and then, I'll buy the bottle of wine, and I'll have the container just to fill up throughout the day, you know, but, but I'm not, like, a go out and buy, like, a case of bottled water for, like, the month or whatever, you know? We, I used to. We, I used to do that, and I probably still will do it sometimes, but because it's, it's just easier <laughs> than getting cold water from, like, tap water and ice. Like, you just have I bottled water in the refrigerator and just grab it. I kind of prefer the way ice tastes in water than, than just straight water. It like depends. colder water, I it guess. It depends, because I, I, the filter on the refrigerator that I have is bad, so the ice that comes out of it, it's gross. So I, uh, I don't use that ice. But, uh, so... <coughs> There's some people on here that says, um... Uh, on the Reddit, uh, Ask Reddit, it says, um, fucking water, stop buying bottled water, people. There are better solutions. <clears throat> One of the top, um, I guess, upvotes here says, I buy bottled water every two weeks when I lose my, uh, when I lose my old bottle of water. And so I guess they, they do the same thing I do, kind of like just replace the water in the bottle. Mm -hmm. Plastic water bottles aren't meant to be refilled. It'd be even better if you used a reusable one. And it's actually bad for you. I heard, like, you know, <coughs> like if, it's, if you leave, like, a bottle of water thing in like your car and drink from it later like the sunlight mixes with like the plastic and it produces like a chemical inside it oh. and uh you can like develop like some kind of cancer oh. from it so i'm always afraid about that because i used to do that just have like a bottle of water like banging around in, in my car. car for like just fine, just just weeks things. and then yeah and then i finally get it and, and drink some of it so i don't know that kind of sucks for me but um this that kind of reminds me about a water being bad uh, reminds me of uh, in college I took a creative writing class and one of the people in there wrote a, ch wrote a children's story about how bottled water is bad and I didn't say it out loud because I don't talk I don't like talking to people but I think that's stupid for a ch children's story like a children like it was like a rhyming and it was all about like the evils of bottled water oh, companies shit. and stuff like that I'm like do you really need to burden kids with <laughs> with, with that, about this with that problem like they're just tell them like not to bully other kids. Yeah, they need water. Don't listen. You know, it's like having an anti-vegetable campaign in I, kindergarten. I, I don't. I that's so so weird to me. To but I mean, she was pretty, so it didn't matter, I guess. But you should have said something. I don't know. I, it brings me to my next one here: hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can cheap out on hookers. I don't know. Yeah. If that's, I ever that's... was had to go to the, that route, I probably wouldn't want to cheap out. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think you pay what you pay for is what you get. Yeah. I'm sure you could go yeah. anywhere, like on the bad sides of town, and, and find you know give a uh, not so attractive looking girl uh, a few you know twenty bucks and get fixed up pretty well. Fifty dollars yeah. get fixed up pretty well. But would, would so you feel good about yourself afterward, though? You know what I mean? I mean, well, it's like, like I know you can go to Vegas and you can, they have like those bunny ranches and stuff out there, and they cost legal. between eight hundred to two thousand dollars. Wow, you've researched this. I've had friends, I've oh, had friends, friends, and friends, friends that have, have told me about their times out there. Um, I personally have never been with a hooker. I've never yeah, tried to be. Um, I might joke with friends like we should get some hookers, but that's like after a few. After I waste a lot of money on drinking, yeah, that's usually one of the bad ideas that come up. But uh, you know, straight up, honestly, I've never done it. Yeah. Probably never would. Um, I'm, I don't I like to pay for sex. <laughs> yeah, that's that's or any that's sexual just, activities. That's that's yeah, that's I. If I ever got to that point, I'd be afraid because I would think that it's a freaking sting or some freaking. Well, that's what like, they say. It's like if you ever go around looking for it, you always you know you see this pretty pretty girl out in the corner, and you only ask her. You know, right when she gets in the car, and you offer her sex for money, it's like a badge. That's where like the yeah, the guns come out. And, and there, we ran a story where one of well, our exactly where the where the anchor anchor or the reporter like followed us like a sting thing. Like a sting on it, I'd be afraid of that. Like, and that'd be like the worst thing to have on your record. Just yeah. like, wow, you're one, you're one of those kind of, you, kind you, of people. You probably have to register as a sex offender, you right? Mm -hmm. or no? I don't know. I don't think. I mean, if she was not legal or whatever. But, yeah. Okay. But uh, I. But still, that's a. I'd rather have like murder on my record <laughs> than, <laughs> than <laughs> hiring uh, a attempt to hire a prostitute. I, I guess. <laughs> No, 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 like, no, that's a like, bad, bad, bad. Like bad. sirens are coming, I would just kill, kill, just kill her, kill her. <laughs> so like, no, I wasn't. I, I didn't wasn't offer her hiring, sex. Hiring, you never know I because now she's dead. I wasn't hiring a prostitute. I was murdering. I was murdering <laughs> prostitutes because <laughs> they're evil. Oh gosh. It says hookers, you're going to get an STD anyway. Why not get them all at once? Oh. This next one says my friend. Yeah, that's hookers. that's true. That's that's a, that's as well. I don't want to get. Well, you, know, you never know. I mean, there's all kinds of protection, but do rubbers and all that actually, like, you know, prevent crabs and shit like that? Mm, 
Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think, like, AIDS and stuff like that. Yeah, there's one here that says, oh, shit, yeah, um, my friend said he would always do it, and uh, he never got STDs, and one of the other people says, well, would he tell you if he did? He says, shit, yeah, he used to do it, he used to do it in his way to piss me off, pretending to put his hand on his pants and wipe it on my shirt or take a sip of my beer. It says, it's mine unless you want AIDS. Yeah, <laughs> that's the kind of friend you need to have. Yeah, that's, that's not good at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's so. I don't. I don't know. I if I ever got to that point, I wouldn't want to cheap out. Whenever I would take a drink of my friend's drink, he would yell, "I have mono." He had mono for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? Uh, Wayne's World. He's all like, uh, "I thought I had food poisoning." No, I don't remember the joke. Dang it! He was like, um, "I thought I had food poisoning once, but uh, it turned out to be just mono or, oh, or some." Oh, dang, something that's, along that's, that line. It was a really good joke. God dang it! Why can't I remember? <laughs> I need to watch Wayne's World again. It's yes. It's on Netflix. It says, I'll if you decided it. not to cheap out and got a, re a reputable, classy escort rather than some nasty street hooker, the STD risk is a good, going to be a, a lot lower. Yeah. Escorts take that sort of hygiene extremely ser seriously, and they'd be out of work if they caught anything serious. Mm -hmm. So as long as you hire an escort that's still working, you know that she doesn't have anything too bad, I guess. Okay. I'll you take should still that. wear like that body con from like, you know, naked gun shows. That would probably be I will take that into consideration. It says also, you know, condoms. Do not cheap out on condoms, because you know I, I'll pay a few dollars extra to make sure none of my boys get out of there. <laughs> it's optional if you've got the wrong hooker. Cheap out on condoms. Got it. Condoms don't protect against genital warts. Well, also against herpes. Or against crabs, unless it's a body condo. <laughs> Hookers don't normally keep pubic hair these days, so you don't have much to worry about in the crabs department. You're just really exposing yourself to S8, HSV and HPV, both of which most people have anyways. Health department brown bags seem all ready for you and everything. <laughs> okay. All right. So, <laughs> well, so take, 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 with, take that as with what you will, I guess. So. Yeah. Don't cheap out on condoms. Well, this one says cheap out on condoms and just pull out. Uh, that's a winner right there. Huh? Really Who is that? Username Father of Eight? <laughs> D. Zillin. Uh -huh. Oh, here's one Art Supplies. Okay. Art Supplies. We had school supplies on there. I yeah, remember. School supplies and art supplies. There's people yeah. in there fighting about which pencils are the best and the yeah. pens they use and how to get possessive when people take their pens. Well, yeah, I mean, you you had, the, like, in, like, elementary school and middle school, you had the kids that had Crayola, and then you had the like kids... Like, big box. And, and like, I have, like, the eight-pack that we steal from, like, the The, 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 the three-pack generic <laughs> yeah. Hill Country Fair I've got, generic. like, red, green, and blue, and with those three colors, you should be able to, to you know, in theory, make any color you want. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, I... Because... You lose all that stuff anyway, and it doesn't matter. That's what so. they said in there. They're like Rose Art. Yeah, <laughs> They're Rose like Art. F Rose that. Art. <laughs> yeah, I remember Rose Art. Yeah. Um, and if you lose it or you don't end up using it in the class, like something stupid like that, and then then you can always borrow. The teacher probably has like a box of colored pencils and crowns and stuff. I don't know. There's one here at the bottom of the art supply one. It says Jason Pollock and Mark Rothko used cheap art, cheap paints throughout their careers. So Jackson I mean, Pollock? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Jackson Pollock and yeah. Mark Rothko. He's the one that did all like, the, the splatter the and the yeah. drips. And, and uh, Rothko did like really huge um, color theory type paintings. Mm -hmm. Like he makes different colors. I like both of those guys yeah. actually. So yeah, so you don't have to be... Well, I mean, depends, I, I guess. Well, does the paint make you better, in other words? Because, like, this is what the, she's Maybe, saying. Maybe, like, the qual quality's better. She's saying, like, you know, these two well-known, top-of-the-line guys. Well, I mean, if you look at... Beautiful shit that's selling for, like, you know, millions of dollars or thousands, hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars. Yeah, but their, their art allowed for that kind of stuff. Like, I bet if you bought cheap, watery paint, you couldn't do, like, what... Like, like, awesome class, like classical <laughs> artists could do because like I bet the lines. Well, you know that water, pretty, speaking of Crayola, I hate their watercolor line. I tried it a few times and that stuff is horrible, never, horrible, horrible, horrible. Now, granted, it. you can put like a little bit of water and make the colors real nice and thick, but you know I I've never used a set of Crayola watercolors that I've actually liked. Most well, of them have been like off brands because they give me that real nice watery faded kind of. I, like, I assume the textures. the Crayola or the, the, those water for like. Kids and well, so. I mean, come on. Hey, oh, so my TV not on credit on watercolors? Is that Maybe. what you're trying to I don't say? know. You need to go to some art store <laughs> to get some actual, like, artist grade, artist grade watercolors. watercolors. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I never, 
I had to. I was in architecture for a while, and you had to buy our own supplies. Next time you're on Amazon, next time you're on Amazon, look up water coming. <laughs> I don't have to look it up there in my cart already. Oh, right. Oh, I looked right. that up already. I get really bored at night. That's, <laughs> like, that's probably sitting in there waiting somewhere. I have, like, books and stuff that folders, I've always... folders, different folders with, like, all, like, hundreds there's, of things. There's probably, like, hundreds of things in my safe for later oh cart thing. God. Things that you've probably, like, forgotten about. Yeah. Or things that you probably, like, don't well, remember like, clicking on. The point when I wanted, like, a 3D printer, I would, like, buy everything that you'd need if you had a 3D printer. Like, the filament, the, the freaking acetone... You're on Chemicals Craigslist and running out assistance to run your 3D printer. <laughs> no, I, I I don't I don't do Craigslist or eBay or anything. It's it's strictly Amazon because I have like an Amazon credit card, so oh. I can I can pay over time. So, <laughs> so you're probably like you, you, every month you're making a payment and you're like this is for that stupid violin that's sitting in like the <laughs> closet right no, now. No, for for the instruments I I do go cheap cheaper like the more. So you cheap out on instruments? I do. Oh my! So because I that's know that's how you ended up with what is it, a melodica. <laughs> <laughs> it's I don't I'm not gonna buy like the high end melodica or anything, but oh but God. but I do cheap out because I do look over in the corner of my room and see a ukulele and a violin and a guitar oh, and a keyboard over there. Gonna spend too much because it's so gonna it's gonna end up over there. My music instrument violin. Yeah. So what? so so I do cheap out on even the things that I are. Dumb to buy. Well, you know, I, I cheap out on our, our supplies. Um, for some messed up reason, writing utensils have a tendency to collect in my car. I kind of hoard these things in my car. Um, I don't know how or why. I mean, I always have one here at work, but usually when I leave, it's in my hat or it's in my pocket. So then I'll get it and I'll throw it on the, the floorboard of the, the passenger seat. And then, like, after a while, I'll take a turn and hear all this, like, Noise on the rattle, and there'll be like 20 pins, you know, 15 to 20 pins, and I'm like, what the fuck? Wow. Is and then I bring them all to work, and I like try to disperse them through here, but then they all eventually end back into my car anyway. <laughs> you disperse them, but then they just put it right back in your head. Yeah, you know, I'm like, uh, and I've got like three of my favorites that I don't take out of the car that <laughs> stay there, but the rest of them I try not to take. I just end up taking them anyways. So I guess I cheap out on stuff like that, but I'm planning on buying a box of this and just leaving them here somewhere and forgetting about it so I don't yep. take those all back with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I would say I'm frugal. I don't like wasting money, even though I do waste money, but I, I don't like it. Well, like in the summertime, I'll, I'll buy t-shirts and shorts. That's basically all I wear, and that's usually pretty much year-round around here. Mm -hmm. um, the other last last payday, I went and bought a pair, two pairs of jeans. And I bought uh, two button-up shirts and some sweaters to put over them. Um, I figured I'm, what, 35 years old now, so it's time to stop dressing like I'm a fucking teenager for, like, all, like, all the time. So I figured, you know, this winter is going to be my experiment in, like, dressing more as a grown-up. Yeah. I'm sure next summer I'll be back into, like, the flip-flop shorts and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. But maybe, like, in the winter, you know, try to look a little, not like a, a homeless person, which is... Uh, and just to give you guys an example, like, every winter time. I go into my closet and I find like sweatshirts from like years ago, pull those all out, and then I just layer till I'm warm. So I have like three or four sweaters on, like uh, sweatpants and, and like some sweatpants with pajamas over, and then put my shorts over that. Um, I used to I used to have a pair of combat boots that I would tuck those into, or like I have my combat boots like half tied on, yeah. and like my sweatpants like covering them a little Speaking bit. Speaking of like boots half tied on. Yeah, yeah, that was my thing, but my boots, my combat boots are coming okay, a little yeah. higher, so they'd be tight to them, and they'd be all loose. And then, like, I'd cover it with my pajama yeah. bottoms. And, I, and, and, oh, I had a job once, no shit, when I was about, I think I was about 21 or 22, I had a job downtown. I got real dressed up, went to the job. It was at uh, uh, one of the little tourist stores down there, like uh, 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 Ripley's, believe it or not. Okay, yeah. It's like the wax museum and, like, the blue. I've walked section. past there and everything. I used to work there. And, uh, I got high. I got an put in an application, had an interview, got real nice and dressed up. Went to the interview, got the job, um, and it was in the towards the end of the, the end of summer, like in the fall. Mm -hmm. So um, my first day, I'm going in. I go in, in the morning. Um, so I get up in the morning, and I, like I told you, I, I put on some sweats. I put on my pajama bottoms over that, and I put on some shorts, some cargo shorts mm -hmm. over that. I put on my combat boots, tie them on halfway, like around my ankles, so like from the ankle up is, is just loose, you know, and like, mm -hmm. like I'm stepping on my own shoelaces. And I got the boots at like a secondhand store, mm -hmm. so they're like, you know, already been used combat boots. Um, uh, I throw on a, 
a t-shirt, mm -hmm. I throw on a sweater over that, I put a flannel shirt over all that, and then I tie my hoodie around my waist. I put on this really big baggy beanie on my head and I get my backpack, which has like maybe another hoodie, uh, maybe some lunch for me, you know, my headphones, my CD player, because mm -hmm. uh, at the time it was all CD players. Uh, so I have all that in my backpack. I'm, I remember they told me, you know, go through this certain door when you're coming in the morning and you know, go on the clock in and then you can, you can change. Oh, I take my, my uniform with me, mm -hmm. so I would change it at work. So I, uh, first day at work, I go in in the morning and uh, I go in. I go behind the concession stand area to where they have the coffee pot brewing, mm -hmm. and I pour me a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. One of the people that works there walks down and they're like, excuse me, sir, we're not open yet. <laughs> and I look back at them, I took off my headphones, and I'm like, yeah, can I help you? And they're like, no, sir, we're not open yet. And I was like, um, no, I was like, I, I, I work here. I'm just coming in. And they're like, oh, we're sorry, we're sorry. <laughs> and like, I started drinking my coffee, and I walked to the bathroom to change, and I'm like, I, you know, as I'm dr undressing to put my uniform on, I like I realize that I'm dressing like a homeless person. I'm dressing like a hobo. <laughs> they thought you broke in and first thing <laughs> like, yeah. coffee. They thought I got in there and poured myself a fucking cup of coffee. <laughs> They're like, well, excuse me, sir, we're still closed. They were like, you know, they had security with them. They were ready to throw me out. They, they didn't know who I was. I had yeah. been hired. So, uh, I mean, and that's usually the way I do every winter. I recycle like two, three shirts, you know, a sweater over that, a hoodie, a flannel shirt, maybe like... Uh, some pajama pants. You know, I, I really I don't like blue jeans a lot. Mm -hmm. I used to wear them a lot when Levi's made silver tabs, but they stopped making them, and all they have like is skeleton or skinny or oh. slim. Yeah, I know. I buy like relaxed fit. Yeah, you know, you, you cannot wear a pair of boxers under some skinny fucking jeans. It just doesn't work. And then it's bad enough that they ride low as well. Mm -hmm. So I, not only do I got like this boxer clump above it, but like all the ones in my legs are like all cramped up onto my junk and. It's just not a good idea. I, I've tried on pants before for like the last, since this last winter, and I have not found anything I liked. It's insane. Um, I did hope, however, last week, like I said, I bought two pairs of Sean John pants uh -huh. because they're kind of made for a little heftier people or heftier person. Mm -hmm. And I like the way they fit out. They, 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 it, it, honestly, to God, every other jean company says I should be wearing a size bigger jean than I do. Mm -hmm. And these I can wear the size I've always worn, and they fit well, you know. <laughs> so, like uh, that Seinfeld thing where he like gets the, the bigger jeans, but then crosses out the eight, which yeah. turns into a six. Well, yeah, no, because yeah, I, I wore size thirty-eight jeans for like I've worn thirty-six forever. Like a couple years ago, I went to thirty-eight, mm -hmm. and now when I go try on jeans, they say like forty or forty-twos, and I'm just assuming that the Perry Ellis Calvin Klein shit is made small, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why it doesn't fit me so well. Uh, okay. So I go to Levi 38s and the, the Levi's like super relaxed, you know, dungaree style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the ones that fit nice. And I'm like, dude, these look horrible on me. It's like, I, you know, I'm not a big style person at all. I'm the dude who dresses like, he used to dress like a hobo every winter. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I'm trying You're to... You're like, no way am I wearing this. Like, yeah, whenever, you know, you get, whenever you get jeans in, you turn so into I'm the, like, that, um, that judge. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to like grow up a little more and I'm not trying to dress like a hobo. So I'm trying to find a style that, that's going to fit me and that's going to like... Mm -hmm. personality wise and all that so these jeans worked out a couple of button up shirts which I've never wore button up shirts before this maybe a couple years ago I had one button up shirt for the rodeo mm -hmm. and that was it and now I've got like four or five of them hanging in there I've got sweaters to pull over them mm -hmm. so I can have some kind of class and style so this winter you're going to be yeah I'll be looking uh, I won't, GQ I won't around, be, the, yeah, around yeah. the halls I won't be looking like so a homeless we'll see, person. You'll see the video of that. Yeah, I'm not going to be looking homeless. And, and I, you know, will, I will be the homeless one. Maybe, maybe when I run out of clothes to wear throughout the week, because I'm a lazy person, I don't do laundry too often, so maybe every other week you'll see me actually. <laughs> it'll just get, get progressively worse and worse. <laughs> and <laughs> or I'll keep wearing the same thing until eventually it turns into so a little Is that beer. the same mustard stain from... Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the yeah, same you got scene. me. Whatever. You no, no, I would, I would never call out anybody for that kind of. Well, stuff. I mean, I, I'm just because I would hate to be called out. Because I like the last two I years, I've gone on the same three pairs of jeans I've owned. You know, for like maybe the last four years. Um, before I got with my ex girlfriend, was asking. I was the last time I went shopping, and that's already been like three and a half years ago. So <laughs> yeah, no, and, I'm, and, I, and I'm pretty picky about my clothes. I can't have people buy me clothes because sometimes I don't like it, and yeah, I, I have to try on all my stuff. You know. Yeah. But yeah, that's just me. I don't know, man. Have you gone winter clothes shopping yet, or do you have stuff to wear? No, I'm I, I, I'm gonna wear the same clothes I wear. I, I, I need to get. They're like the winter clothes. That's what I'm saying. I got a bag full of them. I'm trash bag. Well, no, like this. These are. This is like what I'll wear, except I'll have a coat on. That's pretty. Okay. Pretty. I much bought it. two jackets. I bought that's this, a new jacket. This brown um, 
Top Gun looking aviator type jacket, and I bought this like olive green uh, windbreaker mm -hmm. raincoat looking thing. Yeah. So I mean, I'm looking forward to wearing it, but it's still like 90 degrees out, so I'm not. Yeah, we're not. We're, we're, gonna put them on, like, right we're, now, we're in San Antonio, Texas, so we have a ways to go, and even when winter hits, it's not going to be crazy. Yeah, it'll be like 50 degrees. Yeah, degrees. so I'm going to buy a, a sweater, like a, a zip up sweater with the hood, have some black or gray. That's what I'll buy, and that's pretty much it. That's my winter shopping. Yeah, very nice. And, yeah, clothes shopping every once in a while. Like if I need another shirt or something, I'll go to like Academy and grab just some shirt that I will wear, or another polo. So. Yeah, the, um, when, when when it started to get like into the fall season, I guess like a, this last month maybe. You, you used to work like at a clothes store, right? So yeah. you know, like so I'm used to like you fall know, back fashion. When I, yeah, when you I knew used, all that kind of stuff. When I used to work, there, I used to be really well dressed. You know what I mean? I mean, I had always. Like my T-shirts would never get faded, my shorts would never get faded. I always replace them, like constantly replace them with like newer stuff. Um, so you know, I've really let myself go since that time. And before I got that job, I was dressing like a homeless person every winter anyway. So I just kind of evolved into that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I've, I've always just not been a fan of dressing nice. You know, mm -hmm. I've hated, and, I, I hated mean, wearing suits when I worked there. And the job that we have now doesn't really require it. We're not seen really. Yeah. So I mean, I, you know, I, mean, I will go back to shorts and t-shirts, but I'm going to stop making my shirts go faded. You know, <laughs> I got rid of like all the shirts that I had except for like eight of them. Mm -hmm. I got rid of all the shorts I had except for like three of them. So next summer I'll be forced to go shop for new summer of year, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. That way I'm not like caught up with, I'm not like four years behind in style, you know? <laughs> like is that company even around anymore? <laughs> Jinkos? Uh, Are those Jinkos? Like yeah, man. Still <laughs> Oh, <laughs> double but, cannons. So, great. Patrick 2.0. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm gonna start trying to act my age, and that includes, you know, no more partying like it's 1999, because obviously it's not, yeah. and obviously it feels a lot worse now. And you know, <laughs> so you know, slowly but surely, I've adjusted my my style and to fit my life, and my life to fit my, you know, what I think I should be at at this point. Yeah, well, that's good. So, um, oh, the other thing was, uh, big time alert. I am joining a gym next uh, next oh, week. Nice. So shirtless pictures be posted everywhere. You've been whoa, warned. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> the rest of the podcast are being Patrick's shirtless. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Seriously, I don't really. Well, that's good. Do it. That's, I probably need it more than you. I haven't been. Well, I probably. I do need it more than well, you. I, I've, no re I've gotten up no. to two twenty or so, and that's about as big as I've ever been. I've gotten up to about two twenty five. So I'd be freaking. Static, oh so don't God. even worry about it. Well, usually I'm like 190, 195, mm -hmm. so I mean, that's big boy for me. According to my doctor, I should be like 189. Oh my God, I, I looked at the chart and I was like, standard health. Oh, God, I, I, was like I hate two, looking at that. I was at like at 205 thing. and I looked down like 189 and I start seeing the red and I'm like, okay, this is getting worse. <laughs> and I'm like 205, I'm like, oh shit, I'm like 20 pounds overweight. It's like, yeah, you put in like your, your uh, age and, and and like stuff like that, and it tells you, and it tells you, like I was that in freaking middle school. God dang it, dude! I have I was one seventy, uh -huh. like one eighty in high school. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's telling me I should be like one eighty nine. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? But the thing was, like a few years ago, when I was doing school in the morning and coming to work, I would walk around a lot more. So mm -hmm. it's a little more active. And yeah, I would burn off the, and I didn't pick up that much weight mm -hmm. since I stopped doing school. I'm working full time now. Uh, we have shitty hours during the weekends, so I'm just super fucking There's lazy. There's not, not time. Well, you know, that's my problem too. Yeah, I, I, I just, used to, whenever I lived by myself and I could control the temperature of my sleeping place, I got, I was able to get sleep. Therefore, wake up early and go to the gym. And that was like when I was at my most like awesome weight. But now I can't do that. Like I sleep never. <laughs> <laughs> and when, sleep when I never. do sleep, I sleep. Until I like the last second where I have to get up and go to Shower work. Shower and come to work out. Yeah, so. uh, that's me, man. That's me lately. I, I can't stand it. Um, I'm gonna join the gym and after work I'm gonna go make myself hang out there for four hours. Not four hours for 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm at. I have YMCA. I'm on YMCA, their gym, and but it's not 24 hours. So uh, I have it, to go early. I have to go. Yeah, I have to wake up early. To which get there. I can't wake up early because yeah. I don't go to sleep. Yeah, early. I get you there, man. Since uh, like the last few, maybe this last year, I haven't, I haven't woke up before like eleven, and I used to wake up at like nine every morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a big time difference. For yeah, me, but I figure, never had regular hours. Yeah, I figure after work I'll go hang out for thirty to forty-five minutes, three times a week, uh, do some treadmilling, um, maybe you know. I don't know, go stand behind the uh, the uh, Stairmasters when some ladies are using that. I think y'all uh, hang out there That's always a good, that's you know always right? a good, um, yeah. You gotta find some kind of motivation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's what I, well, I used to do that. I used to, every morning,
for probably like a month or two, like almost every morning before work, I'd go and do an hour on the elliptical. Like when I mean, that's all I what did. The hell is an elliptical? It's, it's like a treadmill, but it's like I mean, you're like it's like you're I don't know skiing? walking. Yeah, kind of like skiing. Yeah. And you have like platforms where you sh your feet are and. I kind of like that in the league, the thing Kevin uses in the league. He's like, yeah, I live with my wife only yeah, when I'm working out. Yeah, he's just it's, on that thing. It's the, <laughs> Why don't you work on the garage? Yeah, it's elliptical. I used to do that for an hour and just every morning. And I, that's when I... And it really helps. helps it work? Yeah, because I just needed... Because I don't care about muscle. I don't want to lift weights or anything. I think that's... Well, I need to lose a little weight, but I figured, you know, because I, I, I'm not in horrible shape, but I think I can put a little more poundage yeah. on me. I, I never worried about muscles and all. I just needed to burn more calories than I consumed. Yeah, so that's I my just, problem because I can eat and like, fuck. Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm like so backlogged. I'm probably like just burning <laughs> calories I've like for food I've eaten like two weeks ago and things like that. So, I'm so backlogged. <laughs> yeah, like, my, my ledger's in the red, man. Um, but, so that, yeah, I used to, I used to do that all the time, like just an hour on the elliptical and then try to eat like a salad for my jacket. like like crazy because yeah, I could put like, away a pizza and a half, you know? Yeah, don't don't supersize your combo oh, meals and things like oh. that. And I used to not eat candy or drink soda. Yeah, I, I used to not eat soda. I'm, I can cut out candy most of the time. But when we're here at work and we have, like, downtime, I constantly got to be eating something. I, I don't know why. It's freaking Halloween season. I There was, like a, like, a bag of freaking Snickers and stuff that I bought. So I have that. So I'm like... I'm like, I'm, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> why? Chocolate all over your mouth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I do that to myself. My best friend Snickers. <laughs> You'll never judge me. <laughs> I'll never judge I open up the thing and say, like, <laughs> you need to lose weight. No, <laughs> it's not you too. At two, Snickers. Well, there was a few more things we wanted to get out of here before oh, we, yeah. we go on, guys. Uh, we're yeah, getting fixing ready to wrap up. <laughs> but um, some of the things we wanted to talk about was uh, hoverboard. Yeah. They're uh, company? Hendo or something like that. Hendo, Hendo, Hendo. or Hendo Hondo. Um, but yeah, they came out with a technology. I mean, they're using it for Hover other things. Hover engine but, type but of thing. But they did a proof of concept making a hoverboard. And it's, from what I've understood, it's like focused electromagnets. So well, they can I, I they, they had it on the ramp, and a, like a metal ramp, and it looked like a really nice little cushion. And the guys were like, you know, not really tricks, but... He's riding back and mm -hmm. forth. Uh, yeah, so a long way to go until Back to the Future style stuff. Yes. But but uh, still, I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, it hovered. The cool like thing was, was I think, uh, two, for uh, transportation, they showed that box hovering over the thing. Mm -hmm. I think as a mode of transportation, transporting heavy shit around, that would, you know, why go get a dolly or like, you know, a uh, uh, cart or something? Mm -hmm. Put that stuff on underneath, or you know, on the sides of it, and make it hover up, and then just push it along. You yeah. know what I mean? Just frictionless. Yeah. And, yeah. No need for wheels. Yeah. And and that's what they said. They, they said the technology is scalable, so it can be scaled up to do cars and Houses, things. Like, yeah. Cars. Anything. Anything that. And it it, it said uh, it's the first time the wheel like the. The wheel has had had any competition. I'm like, yeah, yeah. that's pretty true. Yeah, I mean, what else any, do you know? Any you move stuff? Anytime you want to move stuff, it's something to do with the it. wheel. Yeah, like, the even if it, it even if it was like a like a tank track, like yeah. one of those things, it's still wheels. They still have wheels. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Maglev, good like, concept. iRobot. Yeah, the iRobot, uh, that Star Wars little thing we saw in the video. Mm -hmm. That stuff is really cool. So, um, they they've got a Kickstarter campaign. And I think to, yeah, to help fund the study of this um, engine that they made in order to do it with, so I'm thinking, you know, they had a part in there that said, and you sent so much money. You get the developer kit. I think yeah. it was like, uh, I don't remember for sure, 300, maybe 500, something like that. And you get their hover engine that you can apply to anything. anything. So, so, so you can, make, you can make one of those carts, yeah. or, or you can put it on a, uh, a, a like a Go it's kind of like an thing, open so. source, free source kind of like software, like online, when mm -hmm. people uh, open it up so that other developers can go in there and mess with. Yeah. And then you, usually when something like that happens, it becomes a lot better really mm -hmm. fast. Yeah, that, they did the, uh, oh crap, I just forgot what it was called, the Xbox 360, their little camera thing. They made that open source. So you got all these developers putting it on like drones and putting it, making so security and security things would use that and, and everything so so that you not only have your ideas on concept on what it should be useful but you've got a you know maybe a million people out there working on things to use your technology with and i yeah. think that's what the winning thing is going to come from you know that, that's what's going to make it uh feasible that this stuff could you know honestly be around yeah because 
every and a lot sooner than just them working on it. Yeah, you know? yeah, in secret or something. And yeah, that's that's definitely true because if you have like a think tank, well, why have just the think tank of the people that you know, like, like five, five people, people. Yeah. and then instead you can let it out in the world and then have presumably like millions. Well, because I'm assuming they had it patents or whatever anybody does to come up with ideas for it would have to, you know, somehow give them say, credit yeah, or say the uh, using Hendo's yeah. uh, the hover engine technology or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, that's a good I, stuff. I, I agree. That's that's looking at that video. That's pretty cool. Like what they can do with it, and they just. They did it to make it cool. They made a hoverboard to kind of just so prove much the concept. Stuff you can do with it, man. Yeah. You know? Like I said, uh, imagine if the Egyptians had this stuff. How much faster the pyramids might have been Maybe they built. did. Aliens. How did they? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Egyptians. <laughs> Aliens. Maybe they're from the planet Hendo. Yo, shit. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. Maybe they should call them Hendonese. <laughs> Hendites. Hendites. <laughs> from the planet Hendo. Hendo. Take us to your Hendies. Skateboard. Hendoe. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Moving along, though. Yeah, uh, so that's cool. A couple more things. Uh, we'll let you guys go. The um, Taylor Swift song, track number three. Yeah, so... The 1989 album? Yeah, 1989. I guess maybe it's coming out, but they, they were in in Canada. One of the <sighs> songs on the thing was like eight eight or nine seconds of, of white noise, just static. And it made it to number one on their charts. That is not cool. <laughs> that is... Beyond ridiculous. Yeah. That's well. I'd, I'd probably listen to eight se seconds of static. We're gonna make more. a, a eight-second segment where we don't yeah. say anything. Our next podcast is gonna be thirty minutes of static. And then we're back. Oh, we're back. All right. That was our what? the number of plays. The people are just like the novelty of it, maybe, or maybe yeah. they thought something else was gonna Check happen. This out. Listen to this. And they're waiting for the stung to start. And like, hey, let's, let's rate this five stars for fun because they're fun. Hey. Eh? Because they're, they're fun, they're, hey? They're, yeah. they're Canadians. Canadians are weird. What's that a boot? What is that a boot? Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, that's... So maybe we should so, make an eight seconds of silence album of the podcast and release that. And you guys can maybe we should go free. 16 seconds and just be like, yeah. we're two Fucking times... Rebels. We're two times better than Taylor Swift. Bitch. <laughs> what is that, Rocco's Modern Life? Release like, he has, he has the show and then he, he does just the 15 minutes of a jar of mayonnaise. Yeah. And it, <laughs> and it goes crazy. <laughs> But, uh, so that's pretty funny, and I think tells a lot about the state of modern music. Oh my god, we'll get into that later. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about the state of modern music in another podcast. I can say, I can sum it up in one word. <laughs> that's what we think, you guys. Yeah. Last but not least, um, uh, Jimmy just informed me about the new Avengers movie trailer. Yeah. We just, Angel. I just saw it a, a second ago, and I saw the scene from the X Men movie with Quicksilver because it looks like Quicksilver is in the yeah. Avengers movie. Yeah. Quicksilver and, and Quicksilver Scarlet. is an Avenger. So is Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. They're part of the Avengers West Coast. Yeah. And the East Coast is the other guys. So I, that, I, I watched a breakdown because I mean it's been out for a little bit. It leaked first, and then Marvel went ahead and released the full version. Um, it's been out for a while, so. There's already breakdowns of everything, and they think they're setting up si like civil war, like where Captain America or Tony Stark goes and starts West Coast Avengers, right? It's Captain America. Um, or, yeah, Captain America goes to the West Coast. Um, he gets Wonder Man, Iron Man, and then on the East Coast, I believe it's um, it might be Iron Man and the East Coast. But I know there's two separate ones. I know Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch were a part of it. And that's what they think they're setting up for, like civil war uh, story arc where. Captain America versus Iron Man, right? That's because of the I'm superhero sure. or mutant registration act, or some something like that, or superhero registration act. Something I think like it's our. I'm not too familiar with the origins of why they split. I just know that there's two of them. I used to be able to name them all: mm -hmm. um, Ant Man, a Wasp. Uh, there's a few other ones that are Avengers as well. So speculation is that's this this Avengers: Age of Ultron is the start of that kind of stuff. We'll see. We'll see more like a splintered. Uh, I Avengers. think they need to get on this now because with the release of Guardians of the Galaxy, that was one of the best I've seen. So mm -hmm. they better start putting these out mightily fast in and order to keep the, the the energy, the momentum going on this stuff. Um, I think I think they are. I think uh, this Avengers thing is coming up, and then Ant Man. They were. I I posted a picture. I don't. Yeah, know I it, remember. But but maybe like one or two movies a year instead of just one movie every every year. Maybe you know mm -hmm. what I mean. That way you don't burn out but that you don't lose the momentum that you've got on there because it, it, you know, iron's hot man you gotta strike yeah you know well I, mean? I i think they're they're they've done good so far and i i 
I don't think the superhero bubble is gonna burst unless they do a shitty job with do something. bad movies. So as long as they keep doing like Joss Whedon, who who's done pretty much he did Avengers. If you get him and like people that are actual that like the stuff that they're doing and not just people that are in it for the money or it, or good writers and things like that, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I think so. I think I, and I'm really like excited. My favorite, but this trailer looks awesome. Uh, the Juggernaut Hulkbuster Hulk suit. Hulkbuster, yeah. Um, and that was another thing. Uh, was it the Ultron or Ultron, uh, old uh, Tony Stark mo demo armor model or something like that? Yeah, or AI yeah, something concept like that or that something. I don't remember exactly. On. I don't I don't know exactly what it's going to be. But Iron Man created him or something, and he's, so, uh, he's going to go the way of... I think with that other armor that maybe they can do like an, an Iron Man crossover like if the armor was good when all the armor, you know, starts fighting amongst themselves and Tony Stark has to take them all out. They, they have a crazy amount of things to pull from with the comic universe, so <coughs> so I don't, I don't think they'll have a, a shortage of stories. And there's, there's a, oh, Apocalypse also coming up soon? Yeah, dude, he was, he was uh, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen, the, they, he, he was... He was in the stinger for the last X Men movie. After the credits, you guys stay yeah. around and watch that shit. Yes. Yeah. After the credit scenes, it's called the stinger. Yeah, that's what it's called. Well, stinger. Stinger. Um, so, so yeah, that's gonna happen. Apocalypse, and they, they rumored Tom Hardy might be playing Apocalypse, the guy who really played Bane. There's only like a rumor about the Doctor Strange movie, also. I think he's an Avenger. Yeah. Well, he's in the Marvel universe, and they mentioned Stephen Strange or whatever his name is uh -huh. in. Winter Soldier, uh, Captain America, the other Captain yeah, America. Yeah, he, he, he's he not was, an Avenger. He's closely, uh, like, real, like, real close affinity with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, because they, because the plot, have you seen the Captain America, the, the newest one? No, but if they're going to do something with space, Doctor Strange is tied into it as, like, Adam Warlock with the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know. Um, and he was kind of... Yeah, there's a problem with the Guardians of the Galaxy. That, that cocoon, yeah, and the so, collector's uh, collection, I guess. Museum, whatever. It's gonna be exciting to watch, man. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm hoping they don't just leave us hanging with movie, one movie a year. I hope they don't put a couple out in here. Well, we, we got DC. Is, we got DC doing stuff too. So I want to see the another Green Lantern. I hope it's, uh, it's gonna be better. Gonna to, we're uh, waiting a while for it. I think this last happen. one was good. So I mean, if if this one can be any better, then I'm sure I'll love it as well. Yeah, if it, that, I didn't like the last one, but uh, but yeah, hopefully it's better. I he's one of my favorite characters. Green is like yes. one of my favorite colors. So. Aquaman. Aquaman, Jason Momoa, he's gonna be. Aquaman is one of my favorites because he only talks to fish and shit like that. He controls the seas. That is probably the shittiest superpower when you're like in the desert. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but yeah. unless you can like summon whales and storms and shit, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah, I, so I'm I'm excited about it. I think it's a really good time to be a person who the likes Justice these League. No man, I don't know, dude. I, I'm, I'm gonna or have to see the you're first. You're more ben. Avengers. I'm gonna have to see the first Ben Affleck uh, Batman movie. Then I'll determine after that movie what I think about that moving forward. But I'll, Always been a fan of Superman, Batman, uh, Aquaman, The Flash. Um, you know, I was reasonably into DC, like Deathstroke, The Terminator, uh, certain other comic strips that I used to watch from, from DC. But I wouldn't. I spent more of my time immersing myself in Marvel. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I don't know. I I like them both, and I'm. They're not. They're not really. They're in competition, but I think their fans are universal anyway. So yeah, yeah. They're gonna make money if they make a good movie. Or even if they make a bad movie, they'll probably make money off of it. But well, Batman has been killing it for them, man. The Batman movies have been fucking, you know, with the exception of the George Clooney one, where it was like two parts. And I, I, I don't, I don't even know if it didn't make the money that movie. It, 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 it was. I know it was. Money. It was probably critically panned. Yeah. But I remember freaking buying a Batman and Robin toy. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I mean, they pushed it, but the the critics were one, yeah. one of the one of the most uh, critical things was that they said it was too much like the cartoon series at the time. It was yeah, it was, it it was, was uh, silly. heavily colored, heavily saturated colors. Um, you know, more comically. Uh, yeah, there wasn't a, some of the later movies where it got more serious again. Hey, because this is the Dark Knight. You know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's I mean, yeah, yeah. They gothic. started started out serious, had some silly parts or whatnot, but then they went too over the top on those movies. I agree. Watching them now. I mean, I still I, haven't uh, seen some of the last two Batman's. Maybe you need to watch the recent Batman. Movie. Yeah, I do. You need to watch. I need to just. I haven't seen the last Superman. I just need to get a flash drive and just put all <laughs> the movies that you need to watch on there. Yes, and then I will never see them again. Yep. Then you'll be like Somebody me. Call you by me, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy I, I just finished watching that movie. I just bought a violin. I just bought a violin. I bought a violin. I bought it while I was watching. What did, what did you do to me? <laughs> I got a harmonathon also. <laughs> so we can, <laughs> what I say, harmonica? <laughs> I have a harmonica. I've bought a couple of harmonicas. I bought a harmonica also, so we can throw a duet. <laughs> oh man, 
Well, anyways, yeah. guys, um, I think that's our episode for this yeah, week. We uh, got through a lot, went on a few tangents. Episode, yeah, we went on a lot of 36. tangents. But, um, you know, we're always having a good time here in the East. And some of the stuff we can't wait for, like the hoverboard stuff, um, the Avengers stuff, I'm sure we'll be talking more DC, Marvel, superhero stuff in the future. Um, like to recap the fantasy football stuff and like see what's going on on social media, like Twitter and Reddit. So. Yeah, so as long as we don't like nuclear war ourselves to death or Ebola ourselves to death, it's a good time to be alive right now. Yep. Just uh, let's keep the Ebola quarantine, you guys. And uh, check out thinkingoutsidethefod.com uh, for all of our episodes, all of our social media links Facebook, all... Twitter, Stitcher, yeah. iTunes. iTunes. iRobot. iRobot. Patrick okay. Rocks. <laughs> Jimmy, team, hashtag Team Jimmy. Hashtag Team Patrick's the best. Nope. Not. Nah. Hashtag yes. Hashtag not. <laughs> Hashtag yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Make sure you tune in next week and Jimmy will be speaking about things and such. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace. Thanks for watching our video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to rate and subscribe so you'll be informed for all of our future updates. Make sure you visit our social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, um, or visit the website, thinkingoutsidethepod.com. All the links will be in the description below.